is one of Lil's Lasses, a group of women who, back in 1968, stood alongside Lillian Milocca to campaign for better safety on the trawlers. Jean Shakespeare from Hull lost her father at sea when she was a teenager. Now, 40 years later, she is performing alongside professional actors in a play that she hopes will help keep the memory of Hull's lost trawlerman alive. Caroline Bilton has her story. Another trawler crew steams out of Hull, headed for the Arctic fishing grounds. He went out the door and that was it. We, you know, we never saw him no more. Jean Shakespeare's father died over 40 years ago, but she remembers it like it was yesterday. I was in bed and all of a sudden I heard a scream and I thought, that's my mother. It was uh, not real. Because my dad was fine, he just went out the door. We said, I remember my mum and dad kissing bye-bye in the passageway. Ernest Hawker was 40 when he died, caught in the nets and pulled overboard. His body never found. Five years after his death came the triple trawler disaster. How? The nation was shocked by the tragedy. 59 men dead. Within weeks of each other, three trawlers sank. That's my mum. And that's me, age 20. Jean and her mother joined the campaign calling for improved safety on the trawlers, a protest led by the formidable Lillian Balocca. You can understand them women being angry and wanting things done and sorted. Why should they just sit there in their offices and not care? There was our husbands, our brothers, our dads. I need to ask them, are they still searching? Somebody has to be still searching. It could be anywhere. Jean is now reliving that time again, performing in a play alongside professional actors to tell the story of Lil. She's never acted before in her life. You can't tell somebody to behave that way, that, that that's coming from these lasses, that's within them and, and that's what's coming out. You are really in the spirit of that era of that time. There's such interest now in Lillian Balocca that two plays are to be staged telling her story. This involving the local community, another written by the actor Maxine Peake. For Jean, this is a chance to do something in her father's memory and to honour the woman whose actions undoubtedly saved lives. This is keeping our heritage going. We need to know and tell people about what Lil and them ladies did. I'm proud to be a trollerman's daughter and a trollerman's wife. Caroline Bilton, BBC Look North.